Okay, uh, so today I, uh, it's uh, my uh, pleasure and uh, my honor to have a webinar with the Panjo Jin University. And today we will talk about the translational research in Taipei Medical University. The talk, the talk will uh, bring by uh, by me. My uh, my name is uh, Ming Heng Wu. I'm the director of the international PhD program for translational science in Taipei Medical University. And also uh, we'll talk by the uh, Professor uh, Shen Yin Song. And today's agenda is uh, the first uh, talk I will introduce the uh, what we do in the international PhD program for translational science in Taipei Medical University. And the second part is Professor uh, Song. Uh, he is the Dean of the Office of Human Research in Taipei Medical University. And uh, he is also a professor in our program. And he will uh, talk about a bridge between the bench work and business, the clinical trial system in TMU. And we, we will also leave some time for students or professors to uh, discuss and uh, answer your questions. Okay, so uh, let's start from why we need to do the translational science research. It's because in the past, uh, the clinical practice and uh, the bench uh, basic research, they did not talk. And uh, so a lot of patients, they die because there's no translational research, which means uh, the best side and uh, the uh, bench side, they didn't communicate each other. So that's why uh, now uh, we need to uh, bring the group from the best side to bench or to from the bench to best side is because we want to cross the death valley. As see, you can see here, so the translational science research is kind of a bridge between the clinical and uh, the bench research. Because uh, when we do the basic research, all we can see is just the test tube or the mice model, preclinical model. We don't know what's happening in the clinical. And uh, in either way, uh, the doctors, they only can see the problem in the patients, but they don't know how to solve it. So that's why we need to uh, sit together and uh, do the collaborations and do this kind of translational research. And translational science actually is an interdisciplinary science. Uh, they combine the expert from the biology, chemistry, mathematics, and the physics to solve the complex real world problem. But don't worry, in our program, we combine all the experts in our program. So later on, I will introduce who we are and which expert already in our program. Okay, so the first group of expertise are the uh, professors in the biophysics and biochemistry. This group could be led by the uh, uh, academician, uh, Dr. Uh, Andrew Wang. Actually, he is an uh, academician uh, in Academia Sinica in Taiwan, and also he is a chair professor in Taipei Medical University. And actually, he is a pioneer uh, of structural biology in the world and also in Taiwan. And his most famous uh, study is he discovered the Z form of DNA. And also he supervised all the uh, structural biology study in Taiwan. And we are so happy uh, uh, Dr. Wang uh, came to our program last year. And also he will also uh, guide us and supervise all the study in our program. And uh, uh, another two professors, uh, Professor uh, Zheng, uh, Zheng Zhongli and Professor Hao Qing Wang. They are also the expert in the structural biology. They use the X-ray uh, crystallography to solve the uh, protein structure. And they focus on different fields, 
uh, Professor Li focused on antibody drugs, and Professor Wang focused on DNA mimic protein, and especially for some virus uh, mimic protein uh, in the uh, uh, in in human or in other species. And finally, a prof Professor uh, Tai Mu Zhen, his research interest is in the peptide drug, antibody drug, and nanomedicine. So this group of uh, expertise are very, uh, especially in the biophysics and the biochemistry, and also uh, especially in the drug development. And the second group is the molecular and cellular biology. And we have the professors uh, research, research specialty in different fields, me, uh, my research is focused on the glycobiology. The glycobiology is the sugar modification uh, in the uh, cell surface or in some uh, secret protein. This kind of uh, sugar modification can generate distinct structure of protein and change the protein functions, which could be a distinct biomarker for different disease. And second one is Professor uh, Zhe Chang Zhang. His specialty is in the post-translational modification, especially protein degradation using the simulation or ubiquitication uh, uh, mechanism. And third one is Professor Yu Long Lin. He used the 3D culture system to investigate the neuron and muscular junctions. And Professor Xian Yin Song, uh, he is an expert in the cellular protein interactions. He used different kinds of uh, approach to study the uh, cellular protein interactions. And also he also investigate a lot of uh, topics in tumor microbiome environment, which means the tumor cells interact with the stroma cells. And the last one, Professor Su Jun Zhang, uh, she is an expert in the uh, immune modulation of tumor microbiome environment of lung cancer and breast cancer. And we have the professors that are especially in the preclinical animal models, because when you do a lot of study in a bench, in a cell culture, you need to be, uh, the result need to be uh, verified, confirmed by the uh, animal models. So uh, first one, Professor Yifan Chen, he, uh, she is a, a mouse, mouse guy. She always says she is a mouse guy. She uh, research specialty is in the genetic modified mouse models. She can generate the transgenic or uh, Nagao mice. And this, this kind of uh, mouse model, especially uh, to investigate the aging disease. So, uh, most of her research are uh, uh, related to a general science or geriatrics uh, science. And second one, Professor uh, Zhe Chang Zhang, uh, he used a very fancy uh, mouse model we call the PDX. PDX is patient-derived genograph mouse model. And why we need to use this model is because we took the tumor uh, from the patients and directly implant to the mice. And in this kind of model, we can in, uh, investigate the heterogeneity of the tumor because a tumor is not homogeneous. Each tumor cells, they may have different kinds of genotypes or different kinds of uh, phenotypes. So use this kind of PDX model, we can investigate the complex environment in tumor. And the last one is uh, Professor Alex Wu. His research specialty is in a cancer stem cell. Cancer stem cell is a group of very uh, malignant cancer cells that resistant to all kinds of uh, therapy, like uh, the uh, chemotherapy or some uh, target therapy. So he used this kind of model to develop some small molecular drugs. And then also he used some advanced medical images to monitor the uh, cancer progression and the metastasis. And the last part is the omics study. 
Nowadays, usually we will identify the uh, biomarker using the omics study. So we will may have we may have multi omics or single omics studies. So first one, Professor Wen Zhang Wang, he is a uh, uh, expert in the GWAS study. GWAS means the Genome Wide Association Study. They use the SNP array to identify some disease causing uh, SNPs and do the statistical genetics. And also they can combine the phenotype or their uh, history to do the genetic epidemiology. Okay. And uh, uh, Professor Zhe Chang Zhang, Professor Wei Zhongyang, and Professor Xian Yin Song, they are all experts in the proteomics. They use the proteomics to find the uh, marker in the serine of the gastric and brain cancer and find the uh, biomarker in the woman disease such as the endometriosis and also use the uh, circulating cancer cells uh, as a, a model, they can find uh, some spatial biomarker using the uh, proteomics and uh, genomics. Uh, because the time limited, so I cannot express all the, uh, uh, introduce all the uh, research, in, in, research, research interest of all the professors. But if you are interested in our program, I think Later on, you can visit our website. They, uh, in the website, we have more information. And the uh, 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 academic program, we have many uh, PhD and uh, master students. Uh, we have students from Indonesia, from Vietnam, from South Africa, from Malawi. These countries, different countries, they have very good uh, laboratory cooperations, and also they have many uh, cultural interactions. So that's why we will have this kind of international uh, translational science program for the international students. And we uh, will invite all the students to visit a lot of uh, exhibitions of the uh, science exhibition, especially in Taiwan. And the next part is uh, all the professors uh, from different fields. So what we do in this program. This program actually uh, is trying to develop the seronostic uh, biomarker uh, for the clinical use. So uh, as the logo of uh, our program shows, uh, the biomarker could be a diagnostic marker or that could be a therapeutic marker. And we also like to use the omics strategy to find the so-called uh, uh, markers or target for the disease. <clears throat> and because we want to achieve the goals, so we will give uh, the students some special talks. For example, we invite some uh, biotech company from uh, uh, such as uh, Wei Jin, this uh, biotech company to talk about the uh, big data and genomics because nowadays genomics need to combine to the patient background and their uh, disease history to be uh, integrated as a personalized medicine. So we invite this kind of expert to give us some experience. And uh, we also invite the uh, biotech company to generate the biologics. So from the industry view, to talk about the translational medicine and drug development. Okay, so we invite the uh, local uh, biologics company to give us a talk. And the last one is we also invite the expert from the academic research. For example, we invite the uh, uh, expert in the Academia Sinica in Taiwan talk about uh, the regulation of the protein degradation by the stimulation modification. These are more basic uh, uh, topics. 
So you can see uh, our uh, program will combine from the clinical and from the uh, academic and do the uh, translational research. And also we want to link to the industry. So we will annually uh, visit some biotech company to have the uh, physical uh, 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 discussions. Okay, so uh, we, during the COVID-19 COVID pandemic, actually uh, at the early stage of the pandemic, actually it's very safe in Taiwan. You can see in the picture, no one, uh, most of us didn't uh, wear the mask. Okay, so at that moment, uh, we visit a local uh, vaccine company called the uh, uh, Medigen Vaccine Biologics. And we talk about some collaborations in the uh, COVID-19 research and some uh, drug development. We also annually will visit the Development Center for Biotechnology, we call DCB. This institute is a kind of uh, a bridge between the, uh, the academic and the industry. So they help the academic uh, product uh, to form a, like a, a real product and may help you to introduce your product into the uh, industry. So we will annually have a uh, different kind of uh, visit to the uh, industry and uh, learn some experience from them. And we have very close international collaborations with many famous uh, institutes around the world. Uh, uh, for example, we have the collaborations with the uh, United States uh, universities such as Case Western Reserve University, University of Chicago, John Hawkins, UC Davis, Mayo Clinic. And we also have the collaborations in Asia such as Japan and uh, South Asia such as the uh, Kobe University uh, or National University of Singapore or the Jila uh, Kong Hong University in Thailand. And we very deeply and sincerely hope that in the future, we can have the uh, collaborations with uh, your university. Okay, so we are very uh, keen to have more collaborations and uh, to see uh, whether we can have, we can explore other uh, opportunity in the translational research. And the last one, and very importantly, although uh, someone will say the research uh, is not funny, but uh, we still need to have uh, some time make us very happy. So monthly in our program, we will have, uh, have the happy hour. We will provide live meals, coffees and drink. And uh, at this kind of uh, event, we will invite some uh, alumni or some doctors to share their research experience or just talk about their experience in the past. This is a very free talking. You can talk about anything you want it. And sometimes if we have some special uh, holidays or vacations, we will hold the parties for uh, special events like the picture shows, this is the Christmas party uh, held uh, last, uh, uh, last year. So this is a, a time for all the uh, students, uh, technicians, professors sit together and have a free talk. And maybe in this kind of uh, event, we can generate some new ideas and uh, uh, have more uh, new thinking. Okay. And after we talk about what we are and what we do, I need to know what we have achieved in the past 10 years. Actually, our program is a very young uh, program, just 10 years, like your university, also a very young university. But during these uh, 10 years, we already have a spin-off start up company, uh, established from our professor. This professor is uh, Professor Wei Zhong Yang. He is the role model of our, our program. 
his company called VCheck and uh, uh, the company uh, application uh, field is the women healthy and women's disease. And you can see the capital amounts of this company is approximate to uh, new Taiwan dollars, about $200 million. And uh, in the 2001, uh, this company already finished the Aeron fund racing. And now their uh, company already have a factory to generate the endometriosis uh, diagnosis kits. And uh, they also start the clinical trial in the United States. And hopefully if they got the, the FDA approval uh, in the uh, United States, they will become a big uh, bio tech company. And we also have very many important research uh, publications. For example, Professor Yifan Chen, uh, she published a paper in MPJ Regenerative Medicine last year. Uh, the impact factor of this journal is about 14. And he, uh, she used uh, this uh, ribonucleotide reductase M2B, we call RM2B knockout mice, to investigate the role of the uh, myofiber modulated stem cell fates in the uh, skeletal muscles. And she also identifies some factor can regulate the, uh, age, the muscle regeneration in age or disease uh, people. And uh, Professor uh, Yu Longdin, he uh, published a paper last year in cell death and differentiation. The impact factor of this journal is about 12. And he used a very advanced uh, technology to assess the neuromuscular junctions. So you can see these fancy pictures generally by uh, Professor Lin. And he can use this model to uh, study the maintenance of neural muscular junction in spinal motor neuron. And last one, and the most important part is our outstanding alumni is your professor, Professor Chen. And she, when she graduated, she find a very, uh, she published a very good journal. And this is uh, also a very important study to study uh, one uh, spatial uh, signal pathway could promote the resistance to the anti, uh, androgen depri uh, deprivation therapy in prostate cancer. And she published in the American Journal of Cancer Research, the impact factor of this journal is about six. Okay, so within this 10 years, we already have a lot of achievement. So we want uh, students, uh, of you, the university uh, could come to join us. So I will briefly introduce the admission uh, of this year, son of the rule. Okay, so uh, uh, who can apply uh, our program? Uh, if you get the uh, master degree, or you get the MD degree and receive two years of clinical training with publication equal to master thesis, you can apply the PhD program in, uh, of our program. And also if you uh, have the bachelor degree, uh, you can apply our, our master program. Or if you are currently the uh, master or bachelor student, but you will graduate this summer, you also can apply our program. But uh, you just need to provide your uh, diploma uh, before, I think it's July, before you enter our uh, the program or enter our uh, school, okay? And uh, there are some special requirements. Two are very important. The first one is the proof of uh, English uh, proficiency. And uh, for the master students, uh, we need the B1 uh, certification. And for the PhD students, we need to B2. Uh, this is uh, a table uh, to summarize what is B1 and B2. And later, maybe I can give some information uh, to your university. 
And the, the last one is the, uh, this year from this year, uh, the student when they want to apply the program in TMU, they need to provide at least uh, 4,000 US dollar uh, uh, savings for the uh, financial statement. Okay, but this kind of statement need to, don't need to approve. You just need to show this uh, uh, financial statement. So these are two uh, important requirements for a student to apply our program. And the, the most important part is the scholarship because uh, we want to students focus on the research and without worrying about, uh, about the uh, uh, living expenses. So uh, there are several uh, source can provide the scholarship. From university, we have the type A and type B scholarship for PhD and master students, and they provide about 16 and 12,000 uh, uh, NT dollars per month. And in our program, we also will provide extra uh, scholarship from uh, 2,000 to uh, 5,000 NT dollars per month. And uh, uh, the advisor or professors will provide at least uh, 8,000 uh, NT dollars uh, for two years. And for PhD student, if uh, after the third year, the advisors will be responsible for their scholarships. But the most important thing is the deadline for the admission is ended in the March 15 this year. So I hope if students interested in applying our program, you can uh, join, uh, you can, uh, if you have any questions, you just direct the email me, uh, I can answer all the questions. Okay, and the second one is the uh, another uh, internship program, especially in, in Taiwan, we call the TIP, Taiwan Experience Education Program. Uh, this program, in our program, we uh, introduced an uh, interdisciplinary uh, and translational medicine internship training program. This program combines three parts. So the first part is the uh, professional translational medicine lectures in the uh, first months. And the second one is we will give you some topic or you can generate some idea and perform the, uh, the, uh, the, pro the experiment and do your project on bench. And the last part is we will uh, bring you to some uh, company to have a site visit or some exhibitions and let you know what's going on in the industry or uh, in the real world. And uh, who can apply uh, this TIP program? If you are currently undergraduate students or you do not have PhD uh, degree or you are not currently a PhD student, you can apply our program, okay? And actually, uh, like I said, the course is designed for three parts, lectures, laboratory internships, and uh, the uh, a tool for industry or biomedical institute. And uh, from this program, you also can experience the life in Taiwan, such as the night market or some special drinks in Taiwan. This is a very good experience before uh, you choose to uh, uh, study in TMU. And we provide the uh, scholarship. Each month is about 15,000. Uh, for, for students that complete our uh, internship. Our internship duration is two months from the July to August. Also the deadline for the application is ended in the April 30. Okay, so I think after this webinar, you can directly apply our, uh, our uh, TIP program if you well, are interested. Uh, in TMU and in our program. Okay, so the rest of the information are contact person and uh, also the website. I will provide all the information to you university and hopefully uh, in the future, we can see you in uh, our main campus and also in our new campus in Stronger Hospital. Okay, thanks for your listening. And also I will, uh, 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 so in the next uh, part will win by Professor Song and uh, we 
after uh, Professor Song, we will have uh, time for discussion and uh, Q and A. Okay, so it's your time, Professor Song. Uh, yes, thank you, uh, uh, Professor Wu, for your kind introductions and also nice introduction of our programs and the TIP programs. And these are very important for everyone that is going to come into Taiwan to share or experience the life and the research in Taiwan, as well as if you are interested, really interested in the master or PhD programs, then you can reach us and try to apply the programs in Taiwan. And next one I'm going to share with you is that actually how to connect the, uh, the bench research to the clinic. As Professor Wu was mentioned before, that uh, we have a lot of professors work, working on the bench and also in the preclinical research studies. But how can we link them to the clinical that actually is uh, part of my service programs in the Office of Human Research? And this uh, program is especially for the new the entrepreneurial uh, industry or the, uh, the 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 biomedical industry for them to do really a, a risk work, okay? So now uh, I just gave you the first thing. Um, okay, so uh, the title of my talk will be Bridge Between the Bench Work and the Business, the Clinical Trial System in Taipei Medical University. Uh, well, what is the uh, clinical research really? Uh, actually, clinical research is a uh, branch of the medical science that are determined the safety and effectiveness of the medicine, device, diagnosis, product, and the treatment, and so on. And there are more and more of other types of the clinical research has been coming out uh, in recent years, in, uh, including the AI in medicines and the, the others, like uh, the, the distant uh, diagnosis and the uh, monitoring system, all these are belong to the clinical researches. So clinical research is a very broad uh, research oriented, uh, as long as you are using a human being for your research tool, then that will be a clinical uh, trials. So the purpose to conduct clinical uh, research, including the these four uh, or items. The one is that to find the answers to the clinical problems and to build advanced knowledges to improve the patient care and to build a better life for our future and next generations. So not only just use a medicines, but also evidence-based evidence, uh, evidence uh, medical research, such as the big data research also belong to the clinical Try uh, oriented. So as long as you are using any big data, then they will have this kind of the studies. As Professor Wu was mentioned before, that uh, actually there is a death value of the biotechnology. That is because uh, I just borrowed this one from Professor Wu. Uh, that there are two death value actually, or as we will call, between the bench to the products. The reason is because the first thing is that. If you have a, a very ideal product, you want to go to the clinical trials, uh, in most of the times, no, no, not many people actually really understanding what is the clinical trials and how to do the uh, clinical trials. And then once you finish the clinical trials, then the product may be failed or maybe a very good succeed uh, to do a therapies. So if you the, this product is very succinct to do the uh, 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 clinical uh, uh, services, then you can go to the market and you have the big monies earned into your pockets. But sometimes the failed of the clinical trial is not because the product, but actually how you design the clinical trials. So this is what we are going to be in uh, our programs. Uh, one of the very famous professors uh, in Taipei Medical University, Professor Li, uh, Gang Yuan Li, he is a, also a dean of Department of Research and Development in Taipei Medical University. He has mentioned uh, two words, okay? The first one is that as I conduct the more clinical trials, my arsenal of advanced weapon group, as a result, my patient's life 
uh, lifespan significantly exceed the average standard protocol for lung cancer patients because he is a uh, pulmonologist. And in, uh, he also mentioned about that in the year 2000, the typical lifespan of my lung cancer patients was approximately nine months. However, I have observed numerous patients with advanced lung cancer who have survived beyond five years in the 2020s, thanks to the advancement in the new drugs and clinical trials that I have in my disposals. So all this indicate that a new drug, a new clinical trial really will bring the life to the, uh, the uh, very severe patients. So in order to build a uh, excellent uh, clinical trial teams, we need to have not only just one clinical trial professors or PI, we need to have a four teams. One is operation teams, second is administration teams, third one is the human research management team, the finally is execution teams. This actually is belong to the four parts of these uh, populations, including the uh, operation teams that is belong the duty is be, uh, operating by the uh, the doctors. Uh, but even though you have a good doctors, but if you don't have execution teams uh, who is actually study nurse, that, then you cannot conduct a clinical trial by your own. And the, these execution teams were provided by the human resource teams we call the SMO companies. They will provide a good experience study nurse to the PIs to do the clinical trials. Not only that, we have a lot of CRO companies or pharmaceutical companies. They will provide administration services and to the PIs and the execution teams. And we are in the middle of these areas in Taipei Medical University. We are operating, managing, and helping the PI to conduct clinical trial in a very fast way. So clinical trial is a backbone of the teaching hospital. The reason is because the clinical trials can help in the patients. The new therapy can improve the health. Because the, when you do a, conduct the clinical trials, all the costs of this uh, medicine paid by the pharmaceutical companies. So patient doing the new drug therapies with a free, okay? So patient is free for pay, paying that. And they also benefit to doctor and hospitals. For the doctor, of course, you will have a world renowned because when you conduct a very good clinical trials, every year they will send you to the annual meetings with the business seats in the airplanes to there and then discuss with all the experts worldwide. And then your name will become a bigger and bigger. Not only that, because PI was we receive the largest of the prof, uh, higher positions for uh, because you have conduct a good uh, uh, clinical trials, then you will have a world renowned your uh, position in the hospital will getting higher and higher. And also the pharmaceutical company will provide big money for you to do the clinical trials. For the hospitals, that not only just increase hospital uh, incomes, but also the research fund, raise the specialties and recruit the experts. So finally, this research is not, will bring the hospital into a, a research hospital and will provide a biomedical industry a good orient, orientations for uh, the next generation of new drugs. So therefore, uh, in Taipei Medical University, our office called the Office of Human Research, uh, they are in the same level as a legal office research office, data office, and the business office. And under our programs, we are focused on the clinical services, including the type, we have three hospitals, Taipei Medical University Hospital, Wanfang Hospital, and Shuangpu Hospitals. And then we will use a single platform to do these clinical trials and to, to do the uh, services. Uh, this including the academic, clinic, uh, administration, pharmacy, and uh, uh, retired teams. I'm sorry, I have the phone. Hello? Hello? Uh, yes, yeah. we can hear you. Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, oh, uh, you can put it in the I'm going to put it in the I'm going to put it in the Thank you.
，就是那个那个呃大门进来的地方，就是那个管理室那边。对对对对对，嗯 ，I'm sorry. Okay. So for this one, uh, we have been services and helping many professors to conduct their products, including uh one example is the professor uh uh Shi Qing Chen, and he built up a new companies. Before that, actually, we have support him a fourteen a sixteen uh clinical trials to. Met to validate his products, and finally his product was able to successfully onto the market, and then he built a new biotechnology companies. Another example is Professor Ah、uh, Titong Wong. Ah,、uh, he has a very specialty in the uh uh the brain tumor, especially in the newborn babies' brain tumors. One of the very very lethal uh uh brain tumor is the ATRT tumor. Actually. Uh, was first discovered by one of the uh, professor. Uh, he was a student. Uh, the the Chen. Uh, the the Hui Min Chen. Hui Min Chen. He actually now. I believe he is now in Hu Jimin City right now. And he was published one uh very outstanding uh papers uh in the Kansas. And be because of this one, we initiate a clinical trial use the potassium map. To directly treating those patients with the ATRT patients, and finally we will be able to initiate this kind of the clinical trials and conduct the IRB and the protocol writing, helping Professor Ong for his、uh, establish the clinical trials. Once he established the clinical trials, we now recruit about nine subjects enrolled into. Many of different hospitals and all managed by Professor Ong, and now we are able to almost close this clinical trial. This clin this ATRT uh, uh, brain tumor is very rare tumors, and uh, uh, for the past three years, we finally will be able to collect nine subjects to do these clinical trials. And another very successful uh uh. uh Trial is that as a、uh, professor Wu was mentioning, we have visited the matching、uh, vaccine companies uh, uh, in Taiwan, uh, and also we have recruit his vaccine to do the clinical trials. And for this one, we was the number one recruitment ray in Taiwan、um, to do the clinical trials. And because of this one, this clinical trial, we have become a world known. A vaccine clinical trial centers. So recently, the Moderna and other like Pfizer's, they has come to our office asking us to do the clinical trial for them, and we was able to manage it and conduct the clinical trials. And then finally, we recruit the number, the the highest number of the patients in Taiwan as well. So they are now. Want to collaborate with、uh, us in the long time and conduct many other different、uh, trials, including the the vaccine trials in cancers as、uh, or RNA therapy for the the cancer patients as well. So for this one, the COVID nineteen, we will have uh, uh, published the paper in Lancet Respiratory Medicine. This is about、uh, imperfected proteins. However,、uh, for clinical trials, it's not just、uh, as a new drug, new te technique, indication, or medical device. There are currently of getting into very complex or、uh, complicated trial regulations and trial、uh, systems, including SAMD, AI in medicines, remote system in DCTs,、uh, decentralized clinical trials, or uh, the uh, academic translational research, real world evidence research. So, because of this diversity of clinical trial, we trying to have establish a platform that will be able to conduct clinical trial in very quick ways. So, in order to do that, we have managed five different strategies to do helping the PIs to do the clinical trials, including collaborate with outstanding TMU department and hospitals, integrated system to managing clinical trials, the high. Highly efficient administration processing, and we have established an、uh, 
academic re research organization or ARO accelerators. And uh, we have alliance with different geographic region of the hospitals in Taiwan. The first thing uh, under my lead is that we try to manage all the program into one progress. So with one numbers, we will be able to assess different uh, uh, systems, including disease BI system. I will introduce that later. Audit system, biobanking systems, subject recording systems, and CTMS systems. This is one of the examples that we conduct uh, uh, with disease BIs. The reason is because many pharmaceutical companies, they want to know how many patients actually was in your hospitals. The reason is because that in order to know how many patients, then they will have a potential how many patients you will be able to recruit in the this specific clinical trials. So we will be able to give uh, uh, the examples of this one, how many patients actually located in uh, three hospitals in a one minute click of our numbers. And we have centralized everything, including IRB uh, reviews, CRC regulations, and the contract and budget review systems. For that, we wish to uh, manage in the uh, administration work in less than 30 working days before really you can conduct a clinical trials in the super highway processes. So for all these introductions, the reason is because we try to bridge in many of the new discovery into a uh, clinical trial. Then we can go to the business models. So including Professor Wu was mentioned, many of the biomarkers, we need to have a uh, understanding their metabolism and drugs, genomes, preclinical, pre including we have uh, in, under my uh, 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 office, we have a, a biobank systems and omics data. And then we can go conduct a preclinical studies then we go to the uh, uh, trial design and protocol writing IRB, and then we will be, be able to conduct a uh, business models. So therefore we have proposed a, one of the very outstanding platforms in Taipei Medical University. This is very unique one. The reason is because most of the uh, clinical trial centers actually located in hospitals. We are the only one and the, uh, the one that we have managed in the clinical trial centers in university. So we not only just service the pharmaceutical companies to do the clinical trial, but we also trying to create a platforms to help in many of the researchers to have conduct clinical trials successfully. Okay. So we have a research teams, the least research team, they have ideas such as Professor Wu or Professor Zhang or other professors. If they have a one of the product looks like very promising, they can come to our offices. Then we were helping them to design the clinical trials. And then we can have a, a PI initiate clinical trial at first, okay? We have helping them to conduct the protocol writings and also the IRB submissions. And once they have proved this is value one, then we were helping them to submit to Taiwan FDA and Taiwan uh, 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 governments to do the commercializing clinical trials. And we will be able to do the monitoring and auditing services and uh, then trial management to do uh, clinical trials and data services for uh, preserve all the clinical trial data and for them to be have uh, companies to come here to audit and the monitorings. Not only this, we have three hospitals, but we also alliance with 11 different hospitals from the East, such as St. Mary's hospitals. And we, uh, we also, uh, with the Northern part of Taiwan, such as Andrew Gong, Taoyuan, or, or the uh, uh, Taipei City hospitals or Far Eastern hospitals, or the, in the middle Taiwan, such as Taichung Veteran General Hospitals, Tongs Hospital, or thousands such as Chime Hospitals, Shang, and, and the other hospitals at like Gao, uh, Gaoxiong Medical University Hospital and so on. We will be able to manage all the hospital as an alliance together to manage them to do a clinical trials in just one center. So with all this, we wish to has establish this uh, uh, ecosystem, this single platform for the office 
of the research data science, human research, business developments from the innovation and education. And then finally, this one will be able to become a the product to really service the uh, humans. The reason is because Taipei Medical University is not just doing a clinical research. We wish all our product will be able to service humans and that will be a beneficial to the societies, not just in our university incubation and become a knowledge. We want to really uh, impact to the society, not only in Taiwan, but in, in the Asia and even to the worldwide. So uh, current update in clinical trials, we have uh, 145 PI initial clinical trial, uh, 790 translational research, over 290 of new sponsored trials, and we have collected 280,000 of, of, of clinical samples and collected 38,000 of clinical specimens in 2022, and we have reviewed over uh, 1,200 of the IRB applicants and the Audi over 325 clinical trials in TMU affiliate hospital. All these evidence indicate that we has ability, or my office has the ability to do the clinical trials and conduct clinical trials in many ways. And my students, I wish their product and their observation in the future will also will be able to do uh, conduct a service a human, human beings. So recently, uh, uh, Chen has conducted uh, many outstanding uh, research. Uh, currently, I'm writing a, another eight and nine uh, uh, papers. We wish that this one can publish in over, uh, impact factor over 10 and has a high impact. Then we will be able to see how can we do in the future for clinical uh, trial and uh, business models. And not only that, we, uh, we also have another Vietnamese student and he also is uh, conducting a brain tumor. We, he is trying to develop exosome therapy for the patients. So uh, in the future, we can deliver the patient uh, uh, drugs, not only just uh, intact by the medicines, but also we can use the injection with the exosomes carry the medicines or the microRNA or many other methodology or, uh, or the DNA therapies. So we can conduct uh, all these different therapies by just using the exosomes. And another uh, uh, student, Max, uh, his wife actually is Vietnamese. And the whole, he also trying to do very outstanding uh, study regarding uh, the immunotherapies. All this uh, purpose just to service a patient. So we use a patient uh, oriented to do our translational researches. So in conclusion, TMU is establishing an excellent ecosystem for innovation biomedical research, including we trying to uh, establish a very outstanding entrepreneurship for PI innovation, emerging biotech, uh, biomedical companies, and then we will have a clinical data collection. We have a very outstanding department of data science they will have the, all the uh, 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 patient data, not only just in the Tai Taipei Medical University affiliate hospital, but also have the Taiwan Alliance, even have a global artsy global studies. And then my department will have execution and audit of the clinical trials. Then we have a uh, department of the business and development. They will have tutorial strategy work to accelerate your product become a really business models. Finally, you will have business transformations. You can commercialize and patent applications, spin off business, and finally, you will be able to provide a good product to the, uh, uh, to the world. And we not only use a biodesigns uh, TMU Alliance, but also we have a very good uh, regional East Asia Clinical Trial Association, which TMU is the lead one. We have a, uh, this year, uh, we are going to have a meeting in Japan and uh, 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 the, the uh, last year we have a, a meeting in Korean. So next year, uh, maybe we'll be in Malaysia. So, so we will have all these countries together to, to discuss how to collaborate the clinical trials and how to benefit the Asian populations. 
in uh, our services. So, so all this purpose, just trying to helping everyone really from the bench to the best sides. So thank you for your listening. And uh, uh, if you have any other questions, just feel free to contact me or email me. I will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for Professor Song. Very comprehensive introduction for the clinical trial system in Taipei Medical University. Uh, uh, may I ask a uh, train? Uh, Sorry, the time is still see the time limit. Uh, we're su uh, supposed to end it at two o'clock, so I speak a little bit faster, but hopefully I know Chen understand my English very, very well, so I <laughs> so do not have problems. But others, uh, uh, if you have questions, you can ask Chen. Uh, he, she will be happy to <laughs> answer you. Sure. I will do my best, Professor. <laughs> Okay, so any uh, questions or uh, any things we need to uh, discuss? Uh, one of the students asked me a question about that. Uh, what is the eligibility for to apply the TIP program? So can you show the 